Hello, my name is Dr. Thomas, and today we are going to see a small, small video on the Blue Yellow Ace. Uh, the reason why I'm uploading this video is because one, a person asked me to do a little bit more of videos of Blue Yellow Ace, and I'm actually, um, I'm actually enjoying the deck in OPO8. Uh, and I, I pretty much play off camera without recording, so I decided to just record two matches. No, I actually recorded four, but I deleted two um, because they were not transformative. But what I'm going to do is talk about this deck list, um, how it works, it's pretty simple. And then on the two matchups, you guys are going to actually see uh, that this deck has a lot of consistency, but you also see the flow. Uh, I did get out of the four games I actually recorded. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been feeling uh, playing the sim. I actually would prefer to practice in OPO7. But by the time of the recording of this video, by the way, the sim still hasn't updated. So um, the west is still on AB01 and the east is on OP08. And I kind of want to practice OP07 because, you know, it's it started. <laughs> and I kind of want to practice a little bit before going to locals. Uh, I already have all the cards for a law, by the way, to go to locals. But yeah, I've, that's why I've not been feeling to play in sim. That's why I just decided to record four matches on Blue Yellow Ace because I haven't been on the sim. Um, and uh, it's incredible. As soon as I started recording, everything went to shit. <laughs> I started getting bad hands or bad searches and whiffs. But still, uh, I, you guys can still see the consistency of the deck. So, the deck consists of playing Namule, the, the Ace, the Searcher event. Uh, and the Sanji's Pilaf. This is for you to draw and search as many of the kids as you can. The only problem with this right over here is he can search the Luffy, but he cannot search the Ace. Uh, and that kind of ruined one of the games. I don't know if I, I kept it or if it's one of the, the games I deleted. That feels pretty bad, I am not gonna lie. Uh, the many times the only three cards I saw was with the Kid Ace, I really wanted to grab it, but I couldn't. So I am thinking about removing this and uh, play maybe the Garps or the events. Probably the events because they have the, the trigger. So yeah. <coughs> um, Pretty much this deck, these four uh, cards are the ones that search you the deck and organize the deck thanks to, thanks to Namuli, which is a really nice buff by the way, I really enjoyed this. Um, you can just straight out uh, draw two cards and then place two cards from your entire hand to the top or bottom of the deck. So it's like a ace just with a weaker stat line, which makes him easily removable, but still he baits the removal cards out of the, your opponent's hand and reorganizes your, your deck so you keep at 7k. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how you would play the blue yellow ace. I am playing the four Luffy's, uh, the eight Luffy's and the eight aces. The problem with this deck is one thing and one thing only. Uh, we can keep the uh, the leader at 7k consistently and you that makes you run out of the copies of the kits really quickly. So if the game drags, uh, late game you stand no chance. <laughs> um, not also, not, not only, but also, this event needs to go. The reason is, although this event takes away one body of, of every, that's not yellow that I want. Oh man, come on. No, okay. Of any body, uh, I feel like the problem with this deck is straight out just the swarming uh, um, that so many decks can do now. Uh, Hancock with Jinbei can do, Don Flamin can do it with his leader ability and Jinbei uh, Law can do it as well. Luchi plays a lot of early game uh, 5 cost or less, 6 cost or less bodies. Exactly. So yeah, I feel like in OPO8 this card is much better than in Red Rock. In OPO7 Red Rock was much better. I am telling you right now. But this one is feeling much better now and I am going to remove this for the event. Yeah, because the only thing you really want to search is uh, it's not even the Namule, it's just the kids. If you keep the kids, it's fine. Namule is just somewhat of a tech card that you play at four, so you have more consistency. So yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna change because that's what I felt in these late games. Um, really sad that I cannot use the new uh, event uh, because searching Namule is really good. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. If you are missing one of your uh, one of your key characters in order to have another one that could potentially search you one of uh, yeah, I, I just prefer going directly to the three brothers. Uh, it feels better, so yeah, I'm just gonna change. But yeah, that's the problem. It, we can consistently be at 7k, and like it's so beautiful. Like at seven. Uh, at 7k leader on early game, your opponent literally does nothing. He keeps uh, removing your big brothers, which, which by the way, I'm totally fine because we are just swinging with leader most of the time, taking away one life uh, per turn, and eventually uh, we will reach a point when dropping a pudding will just reset the hand and then we finish game. Uh, that's it. Or like two turns before finishing game, we drop the pudding. That's pretty much it. But once we run out of gas, like, we just straight up lose, like, they just have so much board, and that's why I think Gravity Blade, Raging Tiger is better. I am thinking about removing one pudding for another Raging Tiger, just because of the trigger. Um, so yeah, and sometimes it breaks, so maybe I'll do that as well. I'm gonna do this, and now it's going to be a lot of games where I'm like, where's my pudding? <laughs> So yeah, let's just do like this. The rest I wouldn't change. Um, this deck list is inspired by, uh, I'm gonna say a friend of mine, although we didn't really met in real life. But we do talk a lot, it's Maximus, I'm gonna leave his channel in the description. He pretty much hooked me up with one of his friends uh, deck list of Ace in OP08. And he felt really good, I just had some differences and you guys are seeing some more. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much, let's just, this was a small deck breakdown, um, let's go into the matches. Okay, first game is against Luchi. Now, I decided to leave some meta decks here, uh, Luchi being the best example, actually. Uh, I never played against a Luchi with the blue yellow ace, so it was really nice to see. So, as you guys can see, we have three kits on our hand, which is really nice, and we already managed to pretty much not whiff. Uh, although I did change with the events for the three brothers, maybe this making a top deck is not that bad. I don't know, man. Like, uh, we think not searching the, the key days really hurt me. So, yeah, that's why I, I change. Maybe I'll change back. Who knows? So, there you go. That's the swing with Luchi. Now, we are fine because what's he, the only thing he can do is remove our Luffy so he does not get insta pressure. Um, next turn with two swings and he cannot swing into life so pretty much our lives are always safe except for the first one he does this just to decrease uh, I guess sorry if you guys are hearing a lot of movement I hurt my back <laughs> so yeah he plays the Luchi to remove it's fine he didn't even get the full on uh, value there you go we are not weaving, so that means he cannot attack our lives. That's that's it. Yeah, so here is when I would actually love to that the the blocker white beard three cost would be two cost instead of three. Yeah, Namule would be two cost. It would help a lot. He does this again. Maybe I should have played Flampe, get the my life, and then just straight out KO that Luchi. Maybe I'm going to start doing that since people just remove my bodies. Again, to wrap up a lot, it's easier to make this to make at least one of the Luffy's survive, which is the, the, the structure deck one. He plays Sudo because he misplayed there. Plays the Brook. So he already has at least three swings next turn. And now we are going into the last kit. Yeah, so there you go. So now we need to put it on top to make sure that we do not whiff and we need to put the um, the blocker ace and not the rusher ace. Uh, I am thinking about what to put on the top deck because I know once I search one of the cards I am putting on the top deck is going to the bottom. I decide to put the Sanji spill up. I don't know if it was the right idea or not. Yeah, there you go. Maybe I should start. Yeah, I should really start calculating the. Yeah, so I the I bottom deck my. Uh, <coughs> sorry, my pudding, and my ace because I need counter and I already have one pudding in case he just gets too many cards in hand. 
yeah, I need... I don't know, guys. I haven't feel, been feeling the same. Maybe that's why I miss playing a lot. Maybe I should have used the Flampe uh, more to get the Rush. Because I was feeling like... Ah, I kind of wanted to play the Rush Ace here. Would have been really good to put instant pressure, you know? But I didn't want to go down on 2Ks in hand. That's why I never did. Oh, what the hell was this voice crack? And he has the Jack, so yeah. I, Lucci, I think he straight out counters us, by the way, but still, I am seeing some misplay. See, there you go. I could not add the ace, I'm like, oh, no. So I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the best option here. I think... I should have just straight out played the... Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's, I, I misplayed here. Holy damn, I'm doing a lot of misplays now that I'm thinking. I should have played the, the, the Luffy and take away the Brook because the Brook decreases one cost and Luchi is just another swing now. Uh, or Rebecca for for him not be able to block anything, but... Oh no, but I, I was at three lives, I really couldn't. Yeah, I need to go down to two lives to use my effects, man. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. These are good replays. I'm seeing a lot of misplays, man. I don't understand. Yesterday I played the blue yellow ace for fun. I was getting good wins. I played only three games, to be honest. But, but I, at least I won the whole three. But I didn't record. And now that I start recording, I, I'm just doing a lot of misplays. God damn. But yeah, looking now, I think maybe I, I will switch back to the Whitebeard event. I think overall it's better that you can manipulate the, the cards to go either to top or bottom, at least. I decided to counter here because I know he's going to swing with that check. So I'm trying... To, I, I will go down to two lives. I'm just trying to see... Uh, how many I can keep yet. So right here, as soon as we are at 5k we just lose. That's the problem. And here we have Red Rock. Uh, here, um, our Raging Tiger would have been super helpful. We just took take the Brook and the, the Luchi. Uh, but yeah. I was thinking about playing Pudding instead of attaching 4, but... Mm. Yeah, so we're already two down on hand size, so we are not going to survive. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. He plays another Rebecca. He knows he can play slow, that's why he's he's just making me suffer. <laughs> he could straight out just play another big body, but it's just making sure. So yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of puddings. He's just gonna block, obviously. It didn't, I already knew it didn't really matter. Because here's the thing, uh, even without the kids, this and when we start to decline, we are still putting up a fight. We are still surviving because of the sheer amount of cards we had in hand. But we need to to be able to finish one, once that starts. And that's something I didn't manage to do here. I think I did a lot of misplays. Yeah, he just, he, he can just straight out just attach four. Yeah, just make a swing, make sure he takes away my, my cards in hand on my last life. We get the ace. Yeah, we didn't even see a, <laughs> a, a Luffy that we could use. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do nonsense here. Yeah, I still think... Three Gravity Blade and three Pudding should be the way to go. But... When it comes to the event, maybe I'll switch back to the Whitebeard. Okay, next match and final match is against Boa Hancock. This one I was really hopeful. So straight out, I just draw the two Red Rocks that I usually play. I had to mulligan the other hand, it was a bad hand and I got, I believe, even a worse hand. 
and I am going first, which is also bad, but at least we have the Sanchez Bilaf, which is really good going sec uh, going first, sorry. I already know she's going to counter, she counters everything. She has a lot of 2Ks, she and she can just keep her hand at a uh, good size, which is always 5 to 6, so yeah. She starts building board, I start panicking already. We straight out miss. We whiff, so yeah. We can't do anything. We can't play anything, so yeah. We just attack with everything. She gets her card to hand. If we get such a bad start, I think we still instantly lose, by the way. It depends on what the the, the draws would be with Sanchez Pilaf, but we got a very bad draw there. Now, I was afraid that she was... Um, yeah, here I just take it. I, I was afraid that she would use Pudding. Here. Like... I'm like, oh, I finally got two uh, aces. He plays the Jinbei. Yeah, I'm only seeing the blocker ace as well. Yeah, I'm gonna put the... I think I'm gonna put just two rush aces, right? I think I'm I'm a bit bricked. So I don't mind... Uh, <coughs> what? Oh no, okay, made sense. I should have gone for lives. <laughs> Sorry about that sound. I I thought I forgot to put the kid uh, uh, on the field, but no, I already used the effect. Sorry. But yeah, here, I think the way to go is just purely ignore the board and just go for lives. I went for board here. I don't know why. I already know this. Going for board with the only swing you usually have is usually bad. So just go for lives and just take away lives. So then pudding just straight out gets dropped and just resets their hand. Really hurting them. So yeah. He wants to remove our ace. That's why she is thinking so much. Because here's the thing. She needs to at least attach two to Mihawk, Jinbei and the other Jinbei and his leader just to swing even. That's why I know he's never going to swing, because he cannot do anything else if he does. And then I just take every single, uh, the, the rest of the board. That, that, I think that's the only time I should go for the board. Now, what am I going to play? Please play the rush ace. We have five. We have five. Just play the rush ace. No, play the rush ace. No, what the hell? Oh my god. Jesus, just make pressure, man. At least leave four to reset. No, it doesn't really matter to reset the hand. Oh, I should have just played the ace, man. What the hell? I wanted the another blocker. I understand. It doesn't matter. We're at seven k. He can just remove the two the two blockers we have with raging tiger if he has her. Has it? Yeah, I'm really misplaying hard. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. That's. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember this game, so I I'm pretty much just a spectator like you guys. Now he can only make two swings, he makes two boards. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna use the 2k, I still want the pudding. No, please swing first, you swing first. For the love of God, you swing first with your leader in case there's a trigger there. Yes, thank you, okay, there you go. I should probably first see if I'm going to be at 7k. Because if I'm not going to be at 7k, taking away... Okay, I'm going to be at 7k. Usually it never whiffs this. That's why I'm... I'm not that worried. I swear to fuck, if you don't play the, that rush ace... Yeah, he's gonna let that go. Okay, play the rush... No! What the hell are you doing? Why am I not playing the rush ace? Oh my god, I am bottom decked. Why do I need bl the blocker? What the fuck am I doing? I'm getting pissed at myself. I'm actually tilted. I already know he can take away that blocker. He's too low at the end of at the late game. What the hell? Am I that desperate to just see the kids? I think it's in this game as well because I remember there's a game where I straight up look at trash and I'm like, oh, I have almost every kid in hand. 
I think I'm gonna... Yeah, it's just... He played this Kaido. This is when Red Rock actually comes in clutch. The only time. Yeah, we first take away the body. We should have sung with the uh, Ace first. I did notice that, uh, but I, I had played the kid already. Kind of afraid of what he might get as a trigger, but... Okay. Yeah, like, he just keeps putting my cards... And here's the thing. This is how I know the... Oh my god. <laughs> this is how I know that small blocker was useless here. I am seven, at 7k. There you go. What, 2k he cannot swing anymore. Those four bodies on the field right now are just useless. It's better off if I just play aggressive to play for the pudding. I know this. What is wrong with me in this game? I know the idea is just straight out just go ham we with. Yeah, I'm thinking... Of, yeah, there you go. That I was thinking about just playing the pudding. Here is the... Uh, God damn it, man. I, I know the idea is to play for pudding. For that, we need to make as much pressure onto life as we can. And I'm just straight out didn't do that. For some... I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to try the new card here. I don't know, man. But it really pissed me off. I should have played the, the ace. He was a brick on hand anyways, and at least the, the blocker was a 1k. It's better off than just straight out getting removed that like, like he is. He's getting just removed. And now I'm at 5k, so we already know what's going to happen here. If I wasn't dumb, I actually could have won this game. I know, like, here's the thing. I know playing the rush ace there and swinging for 7, she would just counter out of it. But at that point, it doesn't matter. Because uh, at least I would be at 5k, yes. No, actually, I wouldn't even be at 5 I don't get it. Looking back on plays, I wouldn't be at 5 It was just better to not play uh, the blocker. Because I always play the blocker last. Okay, here we got a nice trigger, at least. There was no reason, because I was already at 7k. And I played the blocker. It made no sense. If I was at 7k, there was, there was no sense to play it. Yeah, there you go. He's just gonna... We're just fighting for survival now. We do stand a chance here. We're at one life each. He plays Uta. I know what he's searching. He's searching for that Diablo Jumble that Blue has now. I I did lost a game with Red Purple Law. I was destroying. And I got overconfident and let too many lives go. And then I just got hit by it. So now I just got PTSD. So I know he can play that. So I'm not going to let this life go. If I need to block as soon as he swings, I am going to block. It depends how many... Um, how many Dawn he attaches, obviously. He could straight up play Red Rock and remove this. That would leave him with three. With, uh, yeah, with three Dawn. So he could potentially just make an 8k, 7k swing. But no, we just we just need to block here. She knows I don't have enough for a 9k swing now, so... She pretty much got us right now, because we are going too low on hand size. Yeah, I, I'm gonna switch back to the event. I gotta admit, looking at this game, it made me realize it maybe it's better for, with this new event. It is. It's not justifiable to just search for the kids version. Again, we have a limited number of kids. So, yeah. There you go. Here, Raging Tiger would have taken the Don Flamingo and uh, that, that Josie. So, overall, would be better. Yeah, I'm just gonna play a bunch of blockers. It doesn't matter, man. By the way, those two rush aces was the one I bottom deck, so I cycled the entire deck. 
that's how much cycle and how much search we have in this deck. Just, a, just an FYI. S FYI. Sorry. So yeah. Here I counter in hopes that she does not actually play the the uh, the event. By the way, because she would, I think she, the the way she uh, split the dawn in last turn maybe realize that she doesn't even play the event. So I got confident on to just uh, just straight out uh, counter instead of block. So there you go, and now she's got just attaching five to guy. Yeah. Makes sense because I'm I'm at zero. Next turn, she wins. So yeah, I'm just making nonsense here. Oh man, really bad. I played really bad. Holy damn! I didn't. I don't think I have had a, such a bad games in a while. So yeah, these were the games. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I made weird sounds and scream at myself. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry about that, but I hope it's still enjoyable. Um, at least I think you guys I think it's still interesting that's why I decided to keep these games I still think it's interesting to see what not to do and some of the flaws of the deck uh, although on this game I had absolutely no excuse I could have actually won this I could have baited so many cards out of hand I could have made so much pressure so yeah but it is what it is thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did consider liking and subscribing and I see you all in the next video goodbye <laughs>